wanted to poke around in here. I've always wanted to poke around in here. I've always wanted to poke around in here. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Sweeping the area. Incoming! The control room should be ahead somewhere and a touch to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Where are we headed? You mean about the... I know, but... Vicar says the universe... Real machines? The machine Vic... Fixing the universe? Sorry. It's not like I think it a failing, mind. It's just I... I live right When they come in here, when they leave... Maybe so. System accurate. Processing. Here we go. Investigating.
Three switches. That'll be easy enough. happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the Vale? Not real, you're not real. You're not real, you're not real. Mind the steam, you're liable to get scalded. Beginning security patrol. Investing. <laughs> If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Unexpected beginning security. Incoming!
go away, Phantom. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Process. <laughs> Send the power to Miss McDevitt. What happens to the veil? sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? 
Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just. Really? System up. Security patrols initiated. Get ready.
Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Want to go see what happened? Hope Adelaide's okay. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a... This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power. Killing off my garden. Without refrigeration. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their lives. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my... You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body. I have got a means to cure the plague, and I will not sh My son worked in that cannery. When we had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, <laughs> Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out? Great, just great. Oh, gosh, no, I, I'm just a lot. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Sorry. Fact is... I'll take all the help I can get. Except, you ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide? Those are good. My dad kept... I know the old... What? I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much... I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I... Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids on the... 
The matter's been... I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that quick. I know, I'm trying to think. Huh? Hmm. I smell blood! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool... I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. I am not without compassion for Abernathy's predicament, but the plague has taken... I am a spacer's choice. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality. The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? We are a spacer's choice. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow these. You'll excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early... I don't know. I could see my... I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague, and she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs.
Look at that. The snakes come back. I never thought I'd see the day. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We... You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. You're telling me you did all this just to put me... I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back... Okay. I know, I'm trying to think. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so ha- Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm the old lady. Oh, it's kind of you to say that. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But, and if you ever need- Yes! Captain, I can- I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. I find myself marveling at the complex sim something that nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run. Uh, that's what my I grew up. I was. My parents. I run. They. I. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I have... What can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install... Outstanding, Captain. Our engine...
What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Oh, that, yes. What you saw in The Hope has some of the... You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black... Excellent. I call it... Excellent. And remember, the board... Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart... Destination. We reached the groundbreaker. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I... I don't got... Thanks, Cap. Did you want to talk? Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on... I've been thinking on that. He's also who... That's a... For... I'll call... Thank... Smells like grease and unwashed bodies, just as I remembered. That's not the point. This hat would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at him. Customs and inspection, right this way! 
Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your but we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford. His office is located along... Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing... Wanda Dorset. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. Make sure you... Most places are on the promenade deck. I got a preference for the law. You need it? Be safe. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chick... I mean, the scholar.